Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mugga Play. I'm Nick, today we're playing more How to Date a Magical Girl. And the doorbell rang in the early morning. Who the hell could it be? I, but I swear, if it's Akari with another dog summoned from a different realm, I'm going to be very upset. But then the dog will have a friend. Good morning, Bobs and Dugnut. Ah, there you are. Dogless, I see. I hope. I thought it might be you. Have you come to take Hoshi back? No, sorry. Has he been behaving? Well... I actually have something important to tell you. Can I, can I come in? Yeah, sure. And hang out with Hoshi. We go inside. Hoshi bounces over to Hikari and she leans down to rub his tummy. Ah, that's the good stuff. I've missed you, master. Oh, I've missed you too, Hoshi. Please look after Bob's and Dugnut while I'm not here. Woof. Anything for you, master. Do you mind if I speak with Bob's and Dugnut alone for a little bit? No problem. I'll bounce along for now. I see he listens to you. Hoshi trots away into the bedroom. So, what's up? Something weird happened last night. Hmm? Go on. I stayed back late at school to get some exam some exam studying done. When I was packing up to go home, I realized I left a book in the lab, so I ran back to get it. When I got to the lab, I peeked in and saw someone else in there. Someone we know. It was probably just Mr. Steiner. What's the big deal? No, it was Yui. Okay, sure. Yui hangs out in the lab all the time. Ugh, I know that, alright? Listen! She was transforming into her magical outfit! Uh, the... The girl did what? She did it easily, quickly, like she'd done it a hundred times before! Uh, okay... She never told us she'd learn how. She always says she can't do it during practical magic class. So, maybe she's just a bit shy. What's the big deal? The big deal is what her outfit looked like! Uh oh It looked... Evil. She looked like a devil with horns, wings, and a tail. Okay. The outfits we transform into reflects our souls, our true selves. The fact she's kept her outfit hidden from us and the fact that it looks so ominous doesn't sit well with me. I know I've been suspicious of her for a while, and you always tell me I have nothing to worry about, but after seeing this, I think there's more to Yui than she's letting on. Ikari. I know what you're going to say, Yui's innocent, but but there has to be a point where you realize that all these things mean something. How much evidence will you ignore just because she's your friend? Oh, well, that is an interesting way to look at it. Would you look past all those things for anyone else? For me? I, I, I came to you because I thought you would believe what I saw. I want to go to the teachers and tell them, but I don't know if they'll simply take my word for it. If you back me up, I'm sure we could convince somebody that Yui is up to no good. I, I won't do it. Hikari, you've had it out for Yui ever since the demon summoning. I know some things look suspicious, but she's a first year student. She's the same as you and I. She has no motive to attack the other students. And as for her magical outfit, you caught a glimpse of it from afar. Until I see it for myself, I just can't believe she looked like a devil. Uh, but just because I don't want to accuse Yui, it doesn't mean that I'm not on your side. I'll take your words to heart, and I'll keep my guard up around her. All I ask is that you give me some time to investigate a bit further. If it turns out you're right, I'll gladly back you up and let other people know. Really? Well, okay. Let me talk to Yui over the weekend. I'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. Okay. Thank you, Bobson Dugnut. Damn. We gotta... Are we really... Just on the path to fall in love with the... The villain? I... We gotta keep playing and find out! Now I just need to figure out how to meet up with Yui without her thinking we suspect her of anything. Did you enjoy classes today, Bobs and Dugnut? Yeah, I learned a lot actually, and I've even been writing more notes than usual. That's fantastic, I'm glad to hear that. Say, Yui. Yes? What are you up to on the weekend? Hmm, I have a few movies in my backlog, so I'll probably have a horror marathon. Alright, well... See, I'm having trouble finding a particular ingredient I need to make a potion. Since you're so good at alchemy, I was wondering if you could lend me a hand. Oh, really? I had no idea you were so committed to brewing potions. Oh, yeah, I love it. But I've been searching the forest for such a long time, and I just can't find this one ingredient. The forest. I go there all the time. I think I could definitely help you out. That would be fantastic. As long as you don't mind, of course. Not at all. It might actually be fun. I'd like to spend some time together with someone friendly. So many of the other students have been treating me poorly. I'm so tired of everyone giving me dirty looks, thinking I killed that girl. I discovered her right before you came along, and yet no one accuses you of anything. 
I felt a pang of guilt at those words. It's true, I was on the scene as well, yet I haven't had a single finger pointed at me. I'm sorry, Yui. It must be really tough for you right now, but I'm sure things will get better. Yeah. Anyway, let's meet up at the forest on Saturday. Would that be okay? Yes, thank you. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. I look, I'll look forward to it. Oh, uh, okay. There's still some time before I need to go to bed. What should I do? Oh, we have the option to chat to Hoshi. Well, let's do it. Let's let's hang out with hang out with Hoshi for a little bit. We haven't done that. Let's bond with him. Maybe he'll be cool. What's up, bud? Are you gonna do any shopping soon? I got a hankering for lemon and lime soda. Keep me waiting and you'll regret it. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay to feed a dog Sprite. And he just slaps me with a paw. He's like, I demand seven up. Every day, the cravings get a little stronger. Until I can't take it anymore. I need my lemon and lime soda. Please buy it for me. I'll be forever in your debt. Uh, uh, fine. Need to read a book though, okay? Currently have a book of expertise. And I only have one chapter left, so I'm gonna read that. So you can hang out with me while I do. Put yammering on about lemon and lime soda. Hey, alright. Our expertise went up. Our D went up again. Not like that, you perverts! I do believe that with our expertise stat going up, that may mean we'll get more money when we uh, work at the store. Because before it was like, your expertise stat isn't very low, so you didn't earn that much, so maybe we'll get more money now. Who knows? Alright, I got some time before school. Uh, let's check the schedule. Oh, we can't hang out with Yui at all. Alright, well, uh, let's just go to school then. Today passes without incident. I need to remember that my meeting with Yui at the forest is tomorrow. Maybe I'll finally be able to figure out if she's involved with the school's disasters. Alright, well... In the meantime, I can at least go to the library and return that book. Get another book. Uh, so let's return a book. And, uh, let's get another book! And, um... Book of Magic 2, Book of Perception... Let's get the other book of alchemy, because it's we we need to keep our alchemy stats up, so we can maintain the cover that we need to keep an eye on Yui. And if it turns out she's not evil, then then we've had something to bond over because she likes alchemy. So if she's evil, then we at least have a more level playing field because we know that alchemy is our strong suit. And if she's not evil, then we've just bonded with our maybe eventual uh, girlfriend. Who knows? Not me. Um, but in the meantime, let's... Uh, actually, let's go to the convenience store. Let's test out that theory that because our expertise stat uh, has gone up that we can uh, earn more money now. Uh, time goes by slowly. Uh, thanks for my expertise attribute, I earned a bonus! Hey! Throw me a freaking bonus! 1400, that's double, hell yeah! Okay, nice. Let's, let's read our book then. Let's, let's do it, because we're gonna, we're gonna hang out with, uh, we're gonna hang out with, with Yui tomorrow, and here's to hoping she's not actually evil, and who knows? Maybe we're into that! I don't know. I made plans to meet with Yui at the forest today. Better get over there. All right. Here we go. I'm not waiting around for long. I soon spot Yui walking down the path towards me. Hello, Pops and Dugnut. Lovely day to explore the forest, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. I see you're dressed for the occasion, but I, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge. Who am I to judge people about fashion? So, what ingredient are we looking for? Uh, it's it's a uh, uh, damn. I should have come up with this earlier. A sky fruit seed? You know, that thing we have, like, ass loads of? Oh, you're just looking for a sky fruit seed? That's easy, I know where to find those. Come on, then. Yui takes the lead and we begin our trudge into the forest. She veers off the beaten track and we find ourselves in a part of the forest that I haven't seen before. The trees give way to a wide clearing. There are a few puddles on the ground, but the liquid within them doesn't look quite like water. Yui steps in front of one of the puddles and leans over to peer at it. These are shimmer pools. Have you seen them before? No, never. What are they? They're the remnants of magical energy left behind by a particular magical creatures. If you see them, it usually means something wondrous has passed by just recently. Whoa, cool. 
Unicorns, dragons, rainbow salamanders, Nero snails, and so on are all said to leave shimmer pools in their wake. They tend to attract other animals to them, who in turn leave behind useful alchemy ingredients. Like this here skyfruit seed! Yui picks up a small seed from the ground and shows it to me. She has a proud smile on her face. See? That was rather easy to find. Wow, thank you. I didn't expect we'd find one so soon. Heh, <laughs> just need to know where to look. Oh, shit. It's all dark out, but it still says it's morning. Oh, what was that? Uh... Oh, no. This... This is just like what happened before the demon summoning. Pops and Tugna, we should go. W what is that? I see a small figure at the edge of the clearing. It's walking forward, emerging from between the trees. Yui takes one look at it and shrieks. It's coming towards us, inching forward ever so slowly. It steps into one of the shimmer pools and immediately stops. Now that it's about 10 feet away, I can make out its features. Oh shit, what the shit is that? It appears to be some sort of doll, though it's able to walk on its own, so it must be a living creature. There's a great big zipper on the front of it, and it has button eyes sewed onto its face. A red devil's tail hangs to the side, occasionally whipping up into the air and waving around. Yui, what the hell is that? I have no idea. You're the horror movie expert, aren't you? Surely you've seen something like this before. I... I... If I had to guess, I'd say it's a homunculus. A homunculus? What? A homunculus is a doll that has been given life by alchemy. Who would make such a thing? Well, an alchemist might create one to help with tasks around the lab, but this isn't the time to be discussing such things. Damn, you're right. We need to get out of here. We spin around and start running the other way, but... Oh, shit! There's a whole bunch of them! Our escape route has been blocked off. Another dozen or so dolls have surrounded us. Holy crap, where did they all come from? Do you think someone summoned them? Oh, shit. That's creepy. The dolls, or homunculi, or whatever they are, start to laugh. Disturbingly, their laughter sounds like the cackling of human children. That is terrifying. Children are terrifying. I spin around to face the first doll that we encountered. Bro, just punt it. Worst case, it really is a kid. And in which case, yeah, then you're the asshole, Bob's and Doug Knight. But again, worst case, then it's just a kid. Who cares? They're not that powerful. Compared to the other dolls surrounding us, the first one seems a little larger. Perhaps it's the leader? It steps out and over the shimmer pool and continues towards us. We might have to fight our way out of this one. Fight? But how? Are we even sure these dolls are hostile? That is... I'm willing to take that calculated risk and start punting now, Yui. That question is answered for Yui within the next three seconds. The doll leader cocks his head to the side. Oh shit! Damn! Friggin' tentacles coming out! With a horrific ripping sound, its neck tears open and a shadowy tentacle erupts from inside. What the hell? Its chest and zips reveals a glowing bloodshot eye. It stares straight at us, and the semi-detached head starts to cackle again. Okay, we are not getting past this one. Let's turn back. We spin around and face the group of dolls once more. But... Oh! 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 Hey! Oh! Shit! They all follow suit and rip their own heads off. The tentacles inside sprout forth and, gr and grope the air erratically. Ugh, I don't like the way that sentence was formed. Right! Bob's and Dugna, I'm really scared. Me too, Yui. Me too. If I don't do something, these things are probably going to eat us alive. I need to transform into my magical outfit. Obviously, I've never done it before, but maybe such a desperate situation will work in my favor? I try hard to focus my mind, to shut out the terrifying childlike laughter in the air. Suddenly, something touches my shoulder. I'm jolted back to reality, fully expecting to see a disgusting tentacle itching its way up my back, but it's just Yui's warm hand. Bob's and Dugnut, I didn't want to have to do this, but stand back. I can take care of them. Huh? Oh, we're gonna see another one? Another transformation? Yui gazes into my eyes. I can't quite read the expression on her face. Despair? Shame? Embarrassment? She starts to focus her mind, and a strong wind immediately whips up and surrounds her. And a badass soundtrack, too! Encased by this ethereal hurricane, Yui starts to glow with a violet light. Hikari was right. Yui is able to transform, and she's doing it so effortlessly. Why would she hide this from us? Evil dolls, I'll, I'll stop you here. 
You won't hurt my friend! Poison Shadow Transformation! Oh shit! Yo! Oh my goodness! Oh! 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 Oh my! Uh... Oh! Hi! Hi Yui! How's, how, how's going? The mystical winds fizzle out and Yui stands confidently in her magical outfit. Her hair has become purple and large curled horns sit atop her head like a crown. She is sporting what seems to be a skin-tight leotard, adorned with wicked crimson wings and a devilish tail. This new outfit matches with what Hikari described. Maybe, maybe she's just dressed this way because she likes horror movies. I don't know. Either way, it's fucking badass. You can't, you can't deny that. I can't help but agree with Hikari. You looks evil in this form. Evil dolls, I will banish you from this realm. Yui bravely steps up to the leader of the dolls. She extends her open palm forward, and with a single uttered syllable, she fires a blinding ray of amethyst light at the enemy. What single syllable? Just... POOP! I don't know. That's what I would say. Just for funsies. Laughter. That's my magical girl power. The doll's face crumbles to dust under the force of the blast. Its tentacles shrivel up and burst with a sickening pop. Just... It sounds more, more dramatic in, in the, in the, in the game. I'm, I'm sure. Here, I'll make, I'll make it sound like an epic pop. Just there. There's your epic pop that I edited in to make more epic. A splash of blood streaks across the ground. The remainder of the creature's body crumples into the dirt. A cacophony of shrieks erupts behind us. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. That's right. We turn to face the large group of dolls. They're ferociously bouncing up and down. That's right, you ain't gonna uh, hurt my friend. The two of them launch themselves in the air, aim straight for Yui. Yui ducks low rather effortlessly, then launches herself into the air with a spinning backflip. Oh, plow! Fuck they shit up. Yeah! She rises above her foes and with both hands forward, shreds them apart with another blast of purple light. All right, this is getting awesome. Yui adopts a crouch as she hits the ground. Without hesitation, she dashes forward. Abyssal Scythe! Does she have a fucking badass weapon, too? She brings her left arm to her chest, then swings it outward with a violent force. Blow! A brilliant light extends from her fingertips, cutting through four of the dolls. A puff of blood and stuffing rises like a cloud above the defeated creatures. Yui, behind you! Another two of the dolls have crept behind Yui and spit their crawling tentacles forth. Yui swiftly dodges to the left, then raises both arms up in the air. Duskfall! Bow! She brings her arms down and the dolls simply drop dead, slumping to the ground unceremoniously. Holy hell, I didn't even see anything hit them. What was that? Only four dolls remain. They gather themselves together and begin to wrap their tentacles around each other. What are they doing? Uh. Now entwined in a hideous mass of tentacles, stuffing and glowing eyes, the dolls shoot a long tentacle up into the treetops. They grasp a sturdy branch and lift themselves into the air, then start to build up momentum for a swinging strike. Yui, it's coming in like a wrecking ball! It never meant- you never meant to fall so hard. I don't remember the words, I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of Miley Cyrus, but you get the joke I was trying to make. It's a wrecking ball. All they wanted to do was wreck you. They're gonna try and crush you. Yui barely nods, then crouches and launches herself straight up into the treetops. She moves so fast that she becomes a blur. The next thing I see is a flash of blood and the hanging tentacle is severed. The dolls drop from their great height and splatter across the dirt with a sickening sound. Yui reappears before me, gracefully touching down on the ground. That's all of them. Yeah. Are you injured? No, they didn't even get close to me. Good, I'm relieved. I couldn't forgive myself if anything happened to you. Yui, you're... you're so different like this. Yes, this is why I couldn't work up the courage to reveal my transformation to you, to all of our friends. But we were in a dangerous situation. We could have been killed if I didn't pull myself together. Thank you. You saved us both. I suppose my secret is out now. This outfit, these powers, they represent my true self. And the truth is, I have a terrible darkness inside of me. Uh, Yui, I have to ask, are you evil? I would not describe myself as such. Then 
Were you involved with the demon summoning or the murder? No, I promise you, I had nothing to do with either of those events. Do you believe me? Somehow, yes. Hearing you say that with such confidence makes me believe you. Good, because I couldn't cope if you thought less of me. Besides, if you did say that you thought I killed them, just remember, I can kill you too. You... You are my friend, and you're important to me. Very important. Yui. Oh, she transformed back. Okay, that's nice. Ah. Sorry, I can't hold that form forever. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I don't blame you. You are amazing. Bob's and Dugnut. Where did you even learn all that? We've never even covered those kinds of spells in class. I practice a lot. An awful lot. I want to be useful. But when I found out my magical outfit looked the way it does, I couldn't bear to reveal it to anyone. I pretended to be unable to transform. I think you should show the other girls. I think they'll understand. Really? Yes, and I'll back you up. You saved my life today. I'll make sure everyone knows you're not evil. That you're on our side. So what if your outfit looks like a devil? Who cares? And even if you have darkness inside you, I'll stick by you. You've proven to me that you've got good inside you too. Bob's and Dugnut, oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I let Yui lean on my shoulder for support. She's terribly exhausted. We leave the forest together, and I help her get back to her dorm. Oh, I just remembered. I dropped the Skyfruit Seed in that battle. Oh, I'm so useless. Yes, you prevented me from dying, but fuck you because you forgot my Skyfruit Seed. Besides, I already got some. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, never mind about that. <laughs> Turns out I don't need it after all. Hmm, really? But that's why we went to the forest. I remember that I already have some at home. Silly me. Oh, Bobson and Dugnut. I'm just glad everything worked out okay. Get some rest. You, le you need to look after yourself so you're refreshed for school on Monday. Yes, you're right. Thank, for your help Thank you for helping me get home. No worries. I'll see you Monday, okay? Yes, see you then. Woo! Damn! What a day! I'm so exhausted by the time I get home. I crash on my bed and manage to fall asleep immediately, even despite Hoshi's angry gnawing at my arm. Damn, son! And now it's July in the game! And it's July when I'm recording this, and it'll probably still be July when uh, this airs. But, man! What a day! Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this episode, you should poke that like button right in the eye. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Uh, what did you think of, of Yui's transformation, as well as her outfit? Didn't mean to objectify her or anything, but... But... She's a fucking badass! And I'm into it, and now I just wanna, wanna double down on... On pursuing her as the romantic interest. And, oh, by the way, uh, I, f I forgot to mention, uh, about my, my theory on who I think summoned the demon and who I think murdered that girl. I think it's Noriko. That's, that's, that's my, my wager. Because, and I figured this out while I was at work earlier today, I was just thinking about the game, and I just had this moment where I had flashbacks to, uh, the episode where that, where that girl died, and... I was just like, oh my god! I know. How about you give me a tour of your school? Come to think of it, I never showed her where the bathrooms were, yet she headed straight for them. I can't tell you too much about the new series just yet, but you'll be the first to find out more. Do they know who killed her? And, and yeah, I remembered all those scenes that I just, that I just showed you. Because, I don't know. That's just that's just my my hypothesis. It's not based on any hard evidence I have. Just based on on those scenes that I, that I remember. So don't spoil anything. No spoilies. But leave a comment below um, if you if if you know what, with what you with what your what your theory is. Again, no actual spoilers. And if you want to see what happens next, which I highly recommend because I want to see what happens next. But I gotta go to bed now because it's now. It's now after 11 o'clock at night when I'm recording this. But uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a damn thing. And also, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mugaplay where we can talk about, you know, this playthrough. We can talk about whatevs. We can talk about it live with me. Not in person, but still still live. You'll be in the chat. I'll be answering the chat, you know. And also, let's hang out on the Discord. It's where we all hang out when I'm not streaming or recording or editing. It's 
it's a fun time. But thank you so much. I love you all. That was badass. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Damn.